everyone, it's Uniquely Miss Carly. Thank you for coming back to watch another amazing wig video that I have for you. Not only am I obsessed with a bob haircut, but I am also obsessed with the hair color of turquoise. It's like two of my most favorite things that have collided into one. Thank the heavens from above. So, this wig right here, actually with this video, I'm actually gonna go through a full step-by-step -step in regards to when you get your wig as requested from my viewers of cutting it as well as plucking it and just of those and actually putting the wig on. So this video may be a little bit longer than the other ones just for the fact that I will be explaining the ins and outs of actually wearing a wig and when you get it and how to prepare it for use. This wig brand is actually a first of that I have. And I can say that I really like, and I fact, I feel like I may get another color in this style because there are tons of colors in this style. This is by the brand called Bobby Boss right here. It is in the color turquoise and the actual um, model of this wig is actually the model name of copper. So not copper color, but copper type of wig. Right here, so. Okay, we're gonna get started with the wig tutorial. It will be a little quick as well as I will be fast forwarding lots of the parts for you. So enjoy. All right, let's get started with, first of all, some things you will need to start with your wig for prepping it. First, you will need a pair of scissors. Now, this is just a thin pair of kind of like beauty scissors. You can use standard scissors, but I feel like these work better because they have a more um, smaller cut right here. Also need a pair of tweezers. And then of course, a brush full of wig hair, <laughs> naturally. So, I did for sure, just so this video won't be so long, is that I just started to pluck out some of the middle, but I left the very tip here so I could pluck out so I can show you. But here, let me put my finger down here so you can see uh, I did pluck all that out. So make sure you have a waste basket near you because there's gonna be a lot of hair all over the place. So. Um, we're gonna speed this forward, so enjoy. Okay, so now we're going to do something which will just be a little weird. Uh, just feels a little weird. It's cutting this lace off right here. So you want to cut it as close to the hairline as you can because you don't want to cut off the hair, of course. So there's really no rhyme or reason to it. You're just gonna start and it's easier to have like two fingers um, kind of pulling here. I'll just cut this little section right here and just kind of hold both ends, which is kind of, like I mentioned, a little awkward, but um, you just cut it as close as you can to the hairline. So here we go. And just like that, not bad, right? Okay, so let's let's put this wig on. Um, I do have, of course, the whole center part plucked out. I do have in the back, um, the straps are at the correct fastening, fasteners for my head. Uh, let's also talk about that there are, how many clips here? Oh, this one actually is a little different. There's three clips, but this one has, they're kind of, there's one in the front and two in the back, which is a little different or on the side. Um, yeah, so, okay. So let's put the uh, wig cap on. I always feel like a Vegas showgirl when I put one of these on. You know, when you see the movies of like the Vegas showgirls in the back room and they're all like getting changed into their glimmery outfits and then they have like these giant lashes and no hair. So, 
Okay, here we go. We're just going to put this puppy on. Okay, so this one actually is a little bit on the opposite side for me. Oh, also when you are done um, plucking, when you do brush out your hair, you know, just from the pluck, it'll have so much, it'll really kind of shed because it'll get those pieces that you didn't uh, uh, pluck out. So here we go. Looks pretty darn good, right? So you're just gonna kind of mess with it pulling on each side, in the back, <sighs> how you like it. I do love this turquoise. Turquoise and me kind of are BFF. This, from what I had heard, this is kind of like a Kylie Jenner inspired wig, which I can see because she did do this hair color one time, which I was in love with. So here is this great wig. Oh my gosh, it just, it this a little bit longer bob than the LH Nikki. So let's just brush this puppy out. So you can see how great it is. Oh yeah, it looks good, right? Chic. Yay! Thank you everyone for watching my little tutorial that I had set up for you. Of course, please let me know if you have any other questions, comments, or other videos that you'd like me to make. I'll have all my contact information below. And thanks for stopping by and liking, sharing, and subscribing. And we will see you soon. 